Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make and use Ender Seeds, uh, which are needed to get the It's the End of the World as We Know It advancement in Sky Factory 4. Now, if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like. But most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. Okay. So to make an ender seed is relatively easy. All you need is one regular seed and four ender pearl. Now, that's one way to make it. There is a second way that will work that you can find in the JEI. And that one is, if you are to go into your smeltery, you can melt ender pearls and pour it into a nugget cast. So if you find yourself in a situation where you have plenty of gold and a smeltery and you can make the cast, but you're not getting many ender pearls, you can melt down an ender pearl to get this. Uh, it doesn't require as many ender pearls that way. So once you have your ender seed, it comes time to plant it. So here I have a little patch of dirt. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a couple of things here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to till, put down our ender seed. Now, right off the bat, up at the top of the screen, you're going to notice that it says ender seeds can't grow because the light is 11, which is greater than 7. Ender seeds require darkness in order to grow. So if it says can't grow, that means it is too bright or there's too much light where you are working. Even bone meal will not cause it to grow. So you need a place that has darkness. Here I've built a small room. Go in here. Oh, excuse me, guys. And we're going to go ahead, till, no, till faster. And we're going to put down our ender seeds. Now there's no water around here because ender seeds do not require water to grow. You can just put them in the dirt itself. Now, bone meal still will not cause it to grow. In fact, bone meal can actually cause it to go back a step in its growth cycle. And it is not boosted by any of the sprinklers or growth crystals or anything of that nature. It has to go through its regular cycle. That being said, you can instead plant it on an end stone. And that can increase its growth. So till our end stone and drop it in there. So if you're growing it on regular dirt, it takes approximately seven in-game day days. It's 2.3 hours. Uh, in order for that to reach total maturity. And there is a 50% chance that once it goes up a stage of growth, that it will not continue. It will literally stop at that one point, and there's nothing you can do to get it to go further other than break it and replant it. Now, using the end stone does help decrease that time, but not a whole lot. So if you can get old some end stone, highly recommend doing that first. But this is a way very early in the game to start getting yourself a supply of ender pearls especially if you're in a biome where endermen do not spawn frequently or you're not ready you're not able to go into the end this can become a steady supply of ender pearls for you but most importantly it is needed for one of the advancements in the game and we'll go take a look at that and that's right here it's the end of the world as we know it which says you can grow ender pearls using ender seeds make sure to plant it on till dirt or end stone now you do not have to actually fully grow the plant to get the advancement, you just have to make the seed. So if you already have lots of ender pearls and you don't need the seed, just make one to get the advancement. You don't have to worry about growing it. But again, it does not use water to grow. Sprinklers and um, growth crystals, none of that will cause it to go faster, even bone meal. And it does have to have complete darkness, although it does not require water. But it can become, uh, especially early game, if you don't have a lot of pearls, you can get a hold of just enough to make one, a slow but steady supply of ender pearls. All right. Well, that's all for this tutorial. Pretty easy one today. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, uh, please be sure to put those down in the comments, and I'll be happy to get back with you as quickly as I can, as well as any recommendations or suggestions you may have for other tutorials that you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4. I'm always looking for new ideas. You can also go to my website, onlydraven.com, and there at the bottom of the homepage is a place that you can submit questions or feedback or recommendations via email. You'll also find links to all my tutorials and videos, a link to my streaming schedule, links to all my social media accounts. I highly recommend my Twitter, at onlydraven. And finally, you also find the ODG store, 
which you can find a whole bunch of cool Only Driven Gaming merchandise. So I do recommend checking out the website. There's a lot of different resources there. But that's going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.